prices. Roughly 85% of consumption is financed by income. The other 15% is a reflection of wealth that gets accumulated either through investing or through your home appreciation. So if people are paying too much for oil, they will slow down consumption, causing the downturn to be that much steeper, which brings us to this war. His belief is, is that it was imperative to take out Saddam Hussein to stop him from dictating who gets what oil and when and thus dictating prices. What is this war about? What it was about is I was always of the opinion that Saddam Hussein was on a very dangerous path. You could watch what he was doing in the 30 years he was confronting Iran, then invaded Kuwait, was threatening Saudi Arabia, and it was very evident to me that his goal was the Straits of Hormuz, which is where 17, 18, 19 million barrels a day of the world's crude oil uh, goes out to the markets. Anyone who controls the Straits of Hormuz can shut down the industrial structure of the West. And I always was very much concerned about that. My view was taking out Saddam Hussein was a very important thing. So I, my view of, the, of the, the war was, yes, it was about oil. And I th thought that there were ma weapons of mass destruction. And uh, Hussein was behaving as though they were. And yeah, you, meanwhile, you know, here we are with $80 a barrel oil. Doesn't that yeah, concern you? Yeah, of course it does. And it's precisely for that reason that uh, it was important to get him out. Uh, I was never of the opinion that the reason should be uh, weapons of mass destruction. And more importantly, uh, I had no reason to disbelieve that that indeed was our official motive and the reason why we went to war. But my, uh, I never thought that was a terribly critical issue. But uh, I applauded uh, taking Saddam out. I thought it was a very important issue. And uh, this problem still exists. And he also said that, in fact, he was predicting that we could see oil much higher than where it is right now. We actually could see oil $100, $120, $130 a barrel if, in fact, Saddam Hussein was still in charge. Tonight, we have a lot more of that interview, my one-on-one -on -one with Alan Greenspan in our one-hour presentation, 9 p.m. Eastern time, uh, that uh, exclusive interview. Bill, back to you. Maria, thank you so much. We look forward to that tonight as well. Maria Butterola there in Washington. I'm still getting used to hearing Alan Greenspan speak frankly on issues, yeah, not the traditional Greenspeak. Jim, very true. Jim